Uh, this is a video about my th initial thoughts about Pro Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Yes, let's do it. So, just like Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, uh, this one is going to be pretty polarizing. You're either going to like it, or you're going to hate it. And I'm going to get this out of the way right now. I fall on the side of liking it, because I really did enjoy Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD. There are a few things that they've added, and a few things that they've done with this that I don't particularly care for, but I'll get into that in a minute. So... The first thing I want to tackle is the glitches, because a big thing was made of how many glitches this had. My response is what glitches. Because, to be fair, I didn't find any real glitches. Like, when you use the word, these words together, buggy mess, when you say those two words together, I expect a complete shit fest. There weren't. There, there really weren't. And a lot of the glitchy looking things are physics related, and they were also present in Tony Hawk. HD, which again, I liked that game quite a lot, so there's my bias coming into this, uh, because it plays very similar. Very, It has very similar physics. <clears throat> so, the people were complaining about falling through the ground, all that kind of stuff. That hasn't happened once in my three hours of play. And again, if you're calling it a buggy mess, in three hours, that should have already happened to me. I got stuck in the ground once, and that was because I bailed. That's because I held a trick, and then I held the, the triangle button to slam myself to the ground and I got stuck in the ground so it happened once and I was already bailed off my board anyway so it didn't matter like I've had no combo ending glitches now there are things that seem like a glitch but I have a perfectly reasonable explanation and this leads into something I don't really like and that is the triangle button which is the grind button Basically, it puts a lead weight on you, and it rockets you towards the ground, or in this case, towards a rail. But it also does it towards the ground if you're in the air. So, my explanation for flying off your board when you're about to hit a rail is that people often, including myself, will often do a flip trick, <clears throat> and then before the flip trick has even happened, be ready and holding triangle, which will then get you onto the rail safely, because you can kind of interrupt flip tricks to get onto rails in the these games so that's what I would do however because it launches you at the ground what you end up ha what what ends up happening quite not not frequently but it happens occasionally is that your flip trick will just come out and you will be rocketing towards a rail and then you will bail and fly <laughs> so I don't think it's a glitch I think it's just a feature interacting with the game in a pretty yeah, kind of way so I it's it's the one thing it's it's one of the gameplay things about the game that I really don't care for is the whole rocketing you towards the ground if you press triangle or hold it rather because I hold triangle a lot to get onto rails and when you when you when you have this physics alteration on that it's like oh shit I'm gonna bail or I'm gonna fuck this up because I tried to do a trick similar to how you would do it in the old Tony Hawk games and then just glue myself to the rail afterwards it, in some cases it can mess you up because you do a trick you try to hold the button to glue yourself to the rail and you just slam into the rail whilst you're doing the trick and you bail. And in some cases it this can all happen this can all happen very quickly and in that case it looks a bit like a glitch but it it, it this is my theory for it and I'm sticking to it. And it all happens so sometimes it can happen so quickly you just fly off the board and it looks funny. Uh so yeah, I wish they didn't have that as a thing. I wish they would have just left it alone and have the triangle button just straight up only hit you onto rails or do the lip tricks. I I I really don't care for the whole modifying of the gravity bit. Um <coughs> Another complaint I have is that you can only go into online lobbies, and as soon as you select, if you go into a private lobby, select a mission, do the mission, it automatically boots you out to a public lobby again. This isn't terribly uh, amazing, this isn't a terrible, terrible issue, but one time in my entire three hours, it said that I lost connection and just booted me out immediately when I hadn't lost connection. So there is, that. that is a bit of a problem. I definitely wish they would have just stuck to, here's multi player shit you can do and here's solo stuff you can do you know separate the two modes instead of making them one thing um another complaint i have is creator skater sucks it, it's you, if you thought you were limited in tony hawk pro skater 1 2 and 3 and all that on the ps1 no yeah tony hawk pro skater 2 3 and so forth on the ps1 
This is kind of even more limiting, to be honest, because you do not create a specific custom skater. You take a currently existing skater <clears throat> and edit their appearance with cards you have to unlock. And you cannot change their tricks, at least not that I've found, and you can't customize any of the stuff you could do back in the old days. Uh, you also start out with zero stats, and you have to earn stats to level up your character and such. Uh, so the, ter the, the creator skater stuff kind of blows... I'm not really a fan of it, but, um... <clears throat> So that's really unfortunate. Uh, the create a park is pretty good. You could create some pretty cool things in that. I gave it a try and created a complete ass level as I usually do. Um, so that will, it, the create a park feature is not that bad. Just the create a skater feature is really not great. Uh, what else didn't I like? Special moves. This is kind of a half and half. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. Instead of doing specific inputs for special moves, you now just fill up a special bar, hit a button, and then near every move you do is a special move whether it be on rail uh, a kick lip you know a flip trick or a grab trick i'm not sure about lip tricks i've never really tried it but it all automatically makes most of the moves special moves and it gives you a lot of points that way it increases your speed and all of that other stuff i kind of like it but at the same time i also like the um the idea of doing specific you know you having control over doing special moves so you build the bar you have control over what specials you do how you use them instead of just a bar that's constantly active while it drains to zero um so yeah i would have kind of it, it's kind of i'm kind of half and half on that one i don't know whether i like it fully or fully dislike it yet um, other than that, the game pretty much plays very, very similar to Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, minus the, you know, the grind, the triangle button thing. So, I mean, I liked HD, so it, it kind of stands to reason that I would like this, and I do. My, my other complaints come in the form of, uh, levels. Because all of the levels are levels where it's kind of using the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 kind of style. Where it would just put goals in a level so you can free skate the level in a multiplayer lobby. And then um, get to goals that are just around the map. Alternatively you could just go to the menu and it or, and it does, starts the goal for you. So that is, I, I, I didn't like 4 so I'm not going to like many things from 4. So this is one of the things I really didn't kind of dig about for, uh, but I, you know, it's, it's, I, I mean, I don't mind it, but I would prefer like a standard Tony Hawk structure of level where it's like, okay, this, these, these levels are normal levels. This is a competition level. This is a normal two levels. This is a competition level. This is a normal level. This is a competition. I would prefer it if it went in that kind of order uh, instead of just doing the... I mean, even Tony Hawk HD didn't really have competition levels, which I kind of miss. I, I really did enjoy the competition levels. Um, but, you know, I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can deal with these, these the current mission structure. <clears throat> Uh, this is, this plays, by the way, this plays nothing like Tony Hawk's Underground, just throwing that out there. <laughs> I know there are some fans of the series that really enjoy Underground, myself included. This is directly from the classics, no Underground. What, what I, however, bringing up Underground, you could actually get off your board in Underground. And getting off your board is really helpful when you've got specific objectives on the map that you can go and visit. I would like to get off my board and go accept a mission, rather than just skate by it and try to stop. That's a little thing though. And it becomes even less of a problem when you can just menu and do the thing. It's very arcadey. I mean, just look at some of the footage. I mean, people are getting, you know, just look on those high scores for the levels. Like, people are getting 26 some odd million points and shit like that. So it's very, it's a very arcadey game and you should, it, don't expect skate, basically. The series has never been trying for realism. It's always been an arcadey series, even in Underground, which uh, tried a little bit on the realism side, but nah, it's always been arcadey. Uh, so don't expect anything else. Uh, some of the missions I don't like. Some of them are a bit like, uh, I wish I could kind of, I wish I could get off my board to do this mission. Um, some of them are, are a bit finicky when you're just on your board. But overall, I find the game really fun to play. It, it's, 
it's basically just like Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, and I really like that game. So, th again, the only gameplay thing I don't particularly care for is the thing is uh, the grind problem. You know, the grinding button uh, launching you at the floor. I'm not too much of a fan of that. But outside of that, the game is pretty fun to play for me. So, yeah. I mean, I've listed out all the problems. I mean, <clears throat> one thing it does have over Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 is that skate combo hidden tape hidden cd they've got both now dvd and tape all of those kind of goals are outside of missions so you so unlike tony Hawk pro skater 4 where you had missions for those these are now outside of missions and missions are other things which i actually like that change because uh i hated having to find the skate mission just to do skate and also over the ps1 version of 4 anyway um <coughs> You can actually select missions and just go to them instead of having to find the markers for them and then accept them there. Which, I don't know if that was just a bizarre thing of the PS1 version or if, or if that was in the 3D, you know, the Xbox versions and shit like that as well. I don't know. But it, from what I can tell, there is no... Um, you know, when you grind on a rail, you can uh, you can change up the move you're doing. I don't think there's any of that. I haven't really tried it. Uh, but with manuals, you can't do flat ground tricks, which you could in 3 and underground. And I really like 3 and underground. So it feels very much like a mix of 4 and the old ones. Very much. It feels a lot like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. I specifically hated the mission thing in 4. That was... No. <laughs> Having everything be a mission? No. And in the PS1 version, that I remember playing the PS1 because that's the one I played recently. Although even the PS1 version had competition missions, which I kind of would like. But they don't really have anything that's like it. But anyway, that's pretty much my thought of this game so far. I will definitely let you know what I feel when I've beaten it. But for right now, that's what I feel. That's how I feel. So I think people are being unnecessarily harsh and there's a lot of disinformation about and it, it's really bizarre to me that that would be a thing. So, but there you go. That's, 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 that's all I have to really say about it. So, but hey, if I'm missing glitches and shit, if you can point me specifically to, okay, this is a bona fide glitch and not just a physics oddity, then go for it. Tell me in the comments. I would love to know if I'm missing something because in three hours of play, I haven't really found any glitches. So there you go. And I and before anybody says I have watched the, the videos that people have posted, I'm not finding a lot of those at, the, at this point. So there you go. In closing, I would probably say my biggest complaint with this game is that Little Wayne is in it. He can barely skate, let alone rap. Or play guitar, for that matter. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Bye.